Here is the first thing that you'll see. Essentially, I believe there are some um, documents, sort of warranty information and a SIM ejector tool. Now, let's uh, put this to one side. Uh, but, ooh, that is nice. Okay, let's put this to one side and show you what else we get inside the box. We're going to get included a very nice case that Oppo have included. A lot of smartphone manufacturers are doing this now. It's just a standard silicon case, but it's there included to help protect your device. So that's the first thing. Uh, In-ear headphones. Now, are these USB-C or the standard version? Let's have a look. Yes. Oh no, they're actually the standard version, the three and a half millimeter uh, version. So that means, oh yes, there it is down at the bottom. The three and a half millimeter headphone jack is included with the Oppo Reno, a USB to USB-C uh, sync charge cable and the charging plug as well. Now this particular charging plug is actually um, VOC enabled. So I think this is VOC 3.0. So that should be able to give you plenty of juice for your device. There is no better feeling than taking plastic off a brand new smartphone. Hit like if you agree with that comment. Mm. So I'm just about to power this on, but let's take you for a quick look around the device. To begin with, you'll notice that it's got this glass curved edge sort of appeal on the back. You've got a dual camera set up here with this Oppo designed by Oppo that runs through the middle. That's a little different, something we don't normally see from smartphone manufacturers. Down at the bottom, you've got that three and a half millimeter headphone jack with the USB-C uh, charging port and then speakers. On the right hand side, you've got a power wake button. On the left hand side, you've got the volume rockers. And then at the top, it's completely flush. But this is essentially where the party trick or the magic trick happens from open i'll show you that in a moment then on the front you have what is pretty much a panoramic kind of display i mean there's no front facing camera mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's a little telltale sign that it's a little different there's no front facing notch or a hole or punch hole or anything on the front over there. Very, very minimal. I mean, pretty much non-existent bezels around the side and then a very, very small lip down there at the bottom. So as far as the screen is concerned, this is a 6.4 inch OLED display. It's a 2340 by 1080 with a 19 by 5.9 uh, aspect ratio. It's a uh, Gorilla Glass 6 and you can see and um, this is an interesting device because internally it's running the uh, Snapdragon 710 uh, chipset. The 10 times zoom uh, version runs the Snapdragon 855. This one has a 710. This also has six gigabytes of RAM. Uh, well, it comes in a combination of either six gigabytes or eight gigabytes of RAM. This particular model has six gigabytes with 256 gigabytes of storage. The battery capacity on this is slightly smaller than the 10 times zoom version with 3765 milliamp hour. It's going to be interesting to see how the battery performs, uh, particularly since it has a smaller battery than the Oppo Reno uh, 10X Zoom. And uh, there's no wireless charging with this. However, there is that super fast charging with VOOC uh, 3.0. So that should be good to get you powered up. All right, are you ready? No front facing camera? How about this? So there, over there, is the front-facing camera that sticks out. It basically goes back to the uh, rear uh, dual camera, and uh, when you need the front-facing camera, press that, and that's how it comes out. How cool is that, right? So that front facing camera is a 16 megapixel f2.0 and it doesn't matter which version you go for if it's the Oppo Reno or the 10 times zoom it's essentially going to be the same front facing camera and it's very interesting because it comes off at a side um, in previous versions we've seen the entire front come up or kind of be raised up but this time it only comes up from the far right hand side. On this particular version, on the Oppo Reno, you have a dual camera setup on the back. So here you have a 48 megapixel with a five megapixel shooter. But I have to admit, this looks really odd with the flushed 
kind of camera lens uh, dual camera setup not something that we typically see nowadays with dual camera smartphones so I think Oppo have done probably a good job there when it comes to the design element around and take a shot of this with the rear camera now ready three two one there we go now normally I just saw this come up oh actually I should have done it the other way let's do it like this right photo there it should recognize that it's a scene as it has done over there boom okay now let's check out the zoom so this has two times zoom and then it will have ten times digital zoom and already I can see that's quite shaky actually but when you tick it up to first time zoom to two times zoom it seems to be perfectly fine. In fact, let's just take a shot at 10 times zoom. Let's see how that comes out. That one time shot is actually really good. I mean, one X shot rather. That was quite nice and clear. However, the 10 times zoom shot, hmm, the, um, uh, the digital 10 times zoom is a little kind of noisy and blurry as you can see there. So it'll be interesting to see how the 10 times zoom a version of the Oppo Reno performs. The Oppo Reno also runs OS 6, which is Oppo's kind of own skin variation on Android P. Um, to be honest, I've you know I'm not a big fan of the skins that manufacturers put on top of Android, but I've said this before in other videos. I do like what Oppo do with their skin. A lot of the customization elements are quite practical, and I think they visually look quite nice as well. The only issue that I have is sometimes some of the icons are kind of different shapes and things, but for the most part, I think Oppo's um, OS 6 on the Reno is actually quite so the Renault also has a bunch of security features including under the screen fingerprint scanner as well that you can set up when you're ready to go so that's one way of um, securing your device the other way of doing that is with that front-facing camera I like the graphic on the front-facing camera check that out done so let's just give that a test see how fast it is there we go it just pops out and goes back straight back in there again that was a bit funny okay so you've got to do it like that but you have to slide up and it comes grabs your face and then goes down that's interesting so it's not like it's automatic otherwise it would have to keep popping in and out so it would slide up scan and then unlock which is pretty cool right all right, let's give it another shot and you'll see that it kind of counts down and it can take a couple of seconds for it to take that shot. So you have to be still during that time. Let's take a two time shot. There we go. Hmm, I'm not really sure what to make of those images. Uh, kind of disappointed really uh, on first impressions. Uh, a bit shaky plus a lot of noise particularly at the two times zoom it is a uh, dual camera and I don't know I was just expecting quick unboxing and first look at the Oppo Reno and just look at that check out those fingerprints oh my god I had no idea uh, <laughs> I guess that's why that case in there will come in handy.